everyone. So I have been trying to record this video for an hour now. And it has been going horribly. So I hope this video is much more successful because I really do want to get this out today because I was supposed to get it out this weekend and just couldn't. So please cross your fingers that I get through this video. <laughs> anyway, I'm here with Noelle. AKA No, my little rubble seven head on the Maridol 60 centimeter body. And I'm here to do just a very basic um, sort of introduction for him in hopes of getting him pen pals. Now, um, it's going to be basic because I've decided that I would rather pe um, you and your characters get to know him through writing to him rather than me just um, spouting off about him. I would. I think it'd be much cooler that way <laughs> after a lot of thought and a lot of failed attempts. I thought it would be really cool to just give some very basic facts about him. And then if you are interested in being a pen pal, pen pal of his, then, you know, as um, he's writing to your character and whatnot, you learn some more about him and who he is. So, yes. <laughs> the reason why, though, I'm giving some basics about him rather than just being, like, be his pen pal is because I know we all have characters that are from maybe different times or maybe there's characters that are not at all interested in writing letters. And I just want to um, make sure you... you believe your character would actually write to my character. <laughs> so, for basics, I did decide his decide finally that he is 32. I had originally had him at 28, but I decided he was my age. So he is 32, as of right now. He, um, let me see. He lives in the now, as I want to say. Um, and I don't mean like he, he's like a daredevil sort of, sort of guy or, you know, he, he, I, what I mean is that he lives in this time now. He, he's not like from the 1800s or anything like that. Uh, so he is from the 2000s. He's from this time. And let's see. What else can I share about him? <laughs> like, you would think, after all the failed attempts I had at these videos, I would just flat out know what I want to share, but I do not. That's part of why it's taking so many tries. But, um, let's see what else. He is one of my human characters, so he is not, um, a vamp uh, you know, any of my vampires or fae characters. He's just a human guy. He's not a normal guy. I will not... I will not lie to you. He is not a normal guy. He's very much a guy who lives kind of in a fantasy world, so to speak. Sometimes he will just um, go off on just random tang tangents about things, and he can't help it. He made a very elaborate um, fantasy world in his head when he was a kid, and he, he's never really let it go. Um, it's kind of his, like, comfort place. He... he um, is just out of a 15-year relationship that pretty much messed him up. It ended badly, and he's sort of adrift at the moment. And that's sort of why he is asking for pen pals. He was feeling very, um, very low, and like he, he was just done with life when he received a letter from... Rebecca, the woman who I mentioned in um, one of my last videos, who is unfortunately now deceased. Um, <clears throat> he received a letter from her, and in writing back to her, he just got this sense of relief. It was just nice to talk to her through such a medium. It was nice to talk to her so openly. And he... he is just fascinated with just how open he was in that letter, but also how open Rebecca was. Even though that letter was not to him, he just, he gets um, intrigued with this idea of how open people can be in actual letters versus electronic correspondence. Like, when it comes to emails and text messages and things like that, he's not open at all. Um, he he never really even thinks about it, but as he's writing with pen and paper, 
just things come out that are unexpected, things he didn't even realize he was thinking. He finds it very cathartic. And that's why he ends up, despite the fact that she is, um, he finds out that she's deceased, he actually takes up writing, continuing writing to her. He, um, he finds such an odd piece in it that it's almost like, he, he it's almost like she is a journal to him, I guess. And one would argue, you know, why doesn't he just keep a journal? Well, <laughs> the reason why he doesn't keep just, you know, keep a journal is because he feels like talking through something with with someone uh, leads to better results. And even though you could argue in this case she cannot talk back to him, he gets this he still, for some reason, and it could be because he's just so caught up in such a fantasy in his head, you could definitely argue <laughs> that he is definitely just talking to himself, but he's putting a, but what is helping is putting a face and name to this so-called identity he is talking to. So he's not talking to himself, he's talking to Rebecca, and he, he can hold on to that belief uh, <laughs> which sounds so weird and twisted but he he's that kind of guy he he does have sort of a twisted side to himself um, when he doesn't really explore too much but he does he also starts write, writing to this woman named Abigail <clears throat> excuse me and this woman Ab Abigail is he feels it's someone he shouldn't be talking to in the first place because of something she did um, according to Rebecca's letter, but he talks to her as well, and he finds himself being open to her too, just in a different way, and he just finds the whole process calming, He and part of it could be that he's simply not used to being alone and not talking to someone. He's been with someone for 15 years, and he considered this woman his best friend above all, and just to have that absence of her just still startles him to this day. So he just really wants to talk to someone, but in a very personal medium rather than um, online or anything like that. So in doing this and starting to write letters and everything, he decides to put out an ad. And to be honest, this is where I'm a little stumped because I'm not sure what people put in ads anymore. I don't even know if there's ads for pen pals anymore. He could be one of those rare few who are, who are like, I would like a pen pal. And I don't even know what he would put in it to make it not look sound skeezy. You know what I mean? Because wouldn't that sound sort of skeezy <laughs> nowadays? Which is sad because I, I remember um, when I was younger seeing um, ads for pen pals all the time. But now it's like we're in a different day and age where it's like, why don't 